And you're the uh, water master, correct? Yeah, that's my title. Water master of the Berkeley Springs International Water Tasting. Okay, how long have you been uh, the water master here? Uh, started the first year, 1991. I've missed a couple of years. I sent out other folks in the water world, uh, but I've pretty much done it most most every year. So, uh, I guess first, what got you involved in it all? Well, water was something I grew up with, um, and, and uh, living overseas, uh, we had a lot of different types of bottled water. In Italy, they have over 200 brands alone, so in every city, you'd find different kinds of bottled water, and some of them were delicious, and some of them were not that good, so I kept a little journal of what I liked and what I didn't like. Uh, well, that evolved to a point where I wrote a book about the differences of water, both from a taste perspective and quality perspective, and that book was published in 1978 called Oasis, The Complete Guide to Bottled Water Throughout the World. That launched a career in the world of water. For me, I worked for different companies, uh, including water bottlers, breweries, uh, wine companies, uh, finding water for them from uh, natural sources, natural springs around the country and overseas, and also helping them uh, get into the marketplace and trying to decide what is the best type of packaging, labeling, uh, all the various elements that come together to make a good bottle of water. What are uh, some of the, I guess, basic differences between uh, the different waters that you've tasted and as well as uh, what is here today? Well, water tastings evolved because I think a lot of water is getting much better as far as bottled water goes. I think bottlers have realized that taste is really important and so they're making sure that they're putting in good plastic in other words, not low-grade plastic like HDPE, but plastic like PET, which is strong and doesn't leach any taste into the water. Uh, a lot of bottlers have realized that they've got to find sources that are the right combination of minerals that taste sweet and light and refreshing and pure. Uh, in America, we're not as fond of heavily mineralized waters. Uh, in Europe, they prefer that. Uh, so in a way you can say, in America, we drink for what's not in the water. I mean, we know we don't want chlorine, and we don't want a lot of fluoride or a lot of salts. Uh, but in Europe, they drink water for what's in it. So they, they like certain minerals, potassium, magnesium, bicarbonates, things like that, which are considered to be helpful. Uh, so they have a, more of a spa culture there. People have been drinking mineral waters for a long time. So it's a different market, you, you, the U.S. And, and overseas. So 32 years now with the uh, international water tasting here in Berkeley Springs. So first, uh, just why Berkeley Springs and who else has really been around the uh, 32 years helping it grow? Well, Berkeley Springs is a perfect place to do a water tasting because it's America's first spa. Uh, the fact that George Washington and some of our founding fathers came to Berkeley Springs in the early days just to be in the natural thermal mineral waters uh, is, a, is a reason to say, gee, this must have something. Uh, the folks at Berkeley Springs and Travel Berkeley Springs saw a logical idea of trying to bring more attention to their waters by doing this water tasting. And I've been doing water tastings for many years. So they, said, they came to me and said, come to Berkeley Springs, we'd like you to put on a water tasting and see how it works. Um, what's happened over the years is a lot of different people have come through Berkeley Springs. Uh, a lot of bottlers have been here, a lot of municipalities have been here. People who win here are they're, they're over the moon. They just are thrilled because to have a win in Berkeley Springs helps them in their sales or in their customer satisfaction. So you'll see bottles of water that have the Berkeley Springs seal right on the bottle. Uh, they, they, they either have a gold medal or if they come in first or silver or bronze. And uh, that's really helpful in their sales. It's kind of like a good housekeeping seal of approval, but from, the, uh, from a, a neutral third party, which we are. Water, uh, just talk about some of the uh, waters that are here today and the different types that uh, the judges were tasting. Right. Well, we, we have waters from, I think, 27 countries this year. About 100 waters, including the municipal waters, purified waters, which have been processed waters, uh, carbonated waters, which have carbonation added to them for the most part, and, uh, and then municipal waters. So what's happening uh, is the judges are tasting these different waters in different flights, like you would do with a wine tasting. You have the white wine, the red wine, the sparkling wines. So each flight has its own category, and, and they rate those accordingly on a sca uh, scale of uh, uh, judging the appearance, uh, the aroma, uh, the taste, the mouthfeel, the aftertaste. And we combine all those uh, ratings, and then we'll come up with a total. Uh, as far as other waters that are here today, well, let's see. Uh, we have one. Uh, 
Uh, this is a great water. I actually know this spring personally. Uh, Hawaiian Springs. It's from the Big Island of Hawaii. And uh, it's uh, a, a water that comes off of the Mauna Loa volcano. So what happens is the rain and snow that falls on top of the Mauna Loa percolates down through the volcanic rock, which actually does a great job of purifying water. And then it comes out at this uh, source that they have uh, just north of Hilo. They, they bottle the water, and this is PET plastic. Lovely bottle because it's nice and clear, very clean. The water tastes great. Uh, this is, a, if you ever wanted to have a little taste of Hawaii without jet lag, you can have a bottle of this. <laughs> but we have waters, we have waters from Australia. Uh, we have uh, water from California. What's amazing is that we have waters from places all over the globe and they all come here and certain waters always seem to do very well. Year in and year out, we, we know there are certain municipal waters that will do well because something they're doing is right and there's certain bottled waters that do well. The database that we've built over these 32 years is amazing. So how do uh, these different bottlers of uh, water companies and everything learn about the uh, international water tasting here? Do you guys usually reach out? Do they reach out to you? How has it really uh, evolved, I guess? Well, it's thanks to people like you that come here to cover this type of event. That gets the word out. Uh, and we've had uh, both a national and international press covering this event for the last 32 years. As a result, because we're the only ongoing national and international water tasting in the world, and we're the, we consider this sort of the Oscars of water, uh, everybody knows about it. I, mean, I, I go to China and, and speak on water because of Berkeley Springs. Uh, I've been uh, Jill klein Roan, who's the producer of the program. She, she's been to Greece and to other countries talking about water uh, and talking about this event. It's, it's really considered to be a very important event uh, in, in the water industry. And the water industry is huge. You know, it's, when I first wrote that first book in 1978 about bottled water, the bottled water industry was a $200 million business. Today it's about $15, 16000000000 billion. So uh, water has just been a booming uh, commodity. And I think that's because a lot of people are shifting their taste buds. They're, they're not drinking as much soft drinks. That's really kind of taken a downturn. Uh, a lot of people don't drink that much beer. Uh, they, they'd rather have water if they're gonna be driving. Uh, so water has become a really important part of our daily routine. Everyone is trying to stay in shape. So water, is, without any calories, it's kind of a natural way to keep in, in good shape. Anything else you wanna add or anything? else that you want to add, Donald? Any questions that you could think of? Well, all, right. all good. I so. think you got it all. It's really a pleasure to be here pleasure and uh, meeting you. So have thank some you water. So much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Works for me, yeah. Okay. Um, so now you're going to carbonated water category. This is an interesting one because you talked earlier about bubbles. And these bubbles are going to be different in size and quality and how they affect the taste. Uh, and you'll see that on the judging sheet you have a column for carbonation. So make note of that when you're doing your present. It's different from all the other parts. I think that I like to do. Only have one carbonated fish in a flight. And again, you kind of want to, I think you want to visit them all on one sweep first, just because the CO2 that's on some of these may start to leave us. So by tasting now, it would be a good idea. If you just go through the whole yeah. thing and just think carbonation. I do want to this back to this people who love carbonation. And then go back to that. And I am the producer of the Berkeley Springs International Water Tasting for Travel Berkeley Springs. Okay, so uh, first question, just a simple one. Uh, what got you involved in uh, the international water tasting? Water. Uh, water is, I, I guess it's always been really important to me, and uh, I'm in Berkeley Springs largely because of the water. And um, I'm also, I've got a theater company. So I've always been into um, performing and producing, so producing is kind of up my sleeve. Okay, so a uh, two-day event, can you just first talk about the uh, seminar and who all spoke yesterday for it as well? Well, the seminar we started out with Jonathan Billingham, who is um, one of the co-owners of uh, Cape and Resort and Farm, and they've got a history uh, that goes back to the 1700s of uh, their healing waters there. It's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Scott Scheip, who's a water infrastructure specialist, talked about the rising cost of water and, uh, and what's happening economic-wise in the 
water world on, on the municipal side. And then we uh, finished up the first half with our Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Sharon Barnes-Selby, who's just an incredible woman and uh, has spent her life in the mostly the bottled water industry. Um, and uh, then we came back with um, John Etkin, who is the CEO of Project WET, which is um, educating, educating for the future, um, educating children as well as adults about uh, uh, why it's important to protect and conserve our water and what people can do about that. And then we finished up yesterday, well, with, the, with those speakers, Emmanuel ETA, who is the CEO and founder of Wonderland Entertainment, and he's working on a documentary about water called H2O, The Intelligence of Water. And then we had a, a, about an hour and 15 minute or so general discussion about that and lots of other things on water. And it's all archived at the Berkeley Springs uh, WV Facebook page under videos. And probably, I think at least the last three years, maybe the last four years, is also archived. There's some great, great information there. And then can you uh, just talk about as well as uh, what took place today, the different types of water that the uh, judges tasted and then who the uh, judges were as well, please. Sure. The judges mostly come from the media. Um, uh, Emmanuel ETA, who spoke yesterday, was also one of our judges. His cameraman turned out to be one of our judges when we have one canceled this morning because she was sick. Um, we have the uh, founder of the Insider Guide to Spas all the way from Oregon who came out. And, uh, and a lot of these people, I mean, she'll go home and do a story and, uh, you know, let people know about Berkeley Springs more than just water tasting, but that was the, the way we got her here. Um, we have uh, Harriet Pearson, who is one of the co-owners and publishers at the West Virginia Independent Observer over in Jefferson County. Um, and, uh, boy, my, my mind. <laughs> Um, who else did we have? Corey Van, Von Bieber um, is with the West Virginia Department of Tourism. And, um, Kelly Gormley uh, is a, a freelance writer. Yeah, you, that, that's good. Thank you very much. Who did I forget? The Lifetime, the Lifestyles Editor at the Herald Mail, Tamala Baker. I said that. Uh, Marilyn Odessa Torpy, the Travel Editor at Mainline Correct. Today Magazine. And um, Lynn Selden, how could I forget Lynn? He's a freelance writer and an author. Uh, he's amazing. Lynn Selden, uh, seldeninc.com. So I gather all those judges. It takes several months and people cancel and I get more and, and they all show up and, and they get trained by Arthur, who you just you know spoke with, and to how to taste water. And then this afternoon they did municipal, uh, purified and sparkling waters. And now they get a very short break and uh, they get to come back this evening and do the bottled non-carb waters, which we had preliminaries for on Thursday because there were over 40 waters and there was no way they were going to sit here and drink 40 more waters after the afternoon that they had. So we cut them down to about 20, exactly 20 actually, the top half. And, uh, and so they'll, they'll do that this evening. And then of course there's the People's Choice Package Design where um, people still have time. What time is this going on? It won't be before eight o'clock, so they don't have time to vote anymore. But we've been doing that online and also in person. People have been able to vote for their favorite package design. And um, it's, you know, people who win here, they tell us that on the Monday after, like this coming Monday, the people who won in the bottled water category, their phone is gonna be ringing off the hook. And that's big business. And that's really exciting for us that we can contribute to that. I went to a plant in, uh, in Greece uh, that was relatively new and kind of small and went and presented the award. And it was like the biggest thing that had happened around there in years because, you know, Greece isn't in real good shape. So to know that we are contributing to the economic development of several water companies around the world, and I mean, there was even one in Martinsburg a few years ago that when they won, their business increased 4,000%. So not only do they get bragging rights, but it's, it's good business. And a lot of them put the metal on their labels. And um, we've got several here, I don't know if you noticed, but we've got several bottles here that have Berkeley Springs gold, silver, or bronze, and bronze medals on them. And then with uh, 
Berkeley Springs tourism, how important is it to the uh, area just with the international water tasting coming in each year? Oh my, I mean, for one thing, I mean, not only is this this weekend busy and, and the people are here from all over the world, We I don't know if you got to uh, interview Rolanda McQueen from Mount Pure in uh, Grenada, West Indies. They've won silver and bronze, and this year they decided she was gonna come here and take the gold home. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but like I told you, a lot of these writers, they go home and for years they will be producing stories and talking about Berkeley Springs. So it's, and people have told us about being in foreign places, uh, being in an airport in some foreign city, and, and the ticker tape across the time, uh, the bottom talks about who won at the Berkeley Springs International Water Tasting. Uh, there are delivery trucks for a water company in Bosnia, one of our, our presenting sponsor for the Lifetime Achievement Award, Tizanski Kisseljak, that on the side of their delivery trucks, they have the Berkeley Springs gold medal on it. It's the only thing in English is Berkeley Springs. Everything else is in, I guess it's Croatian, I think it's not Bosnian. But at any rate, uh, so there are people all over the world throughout the year who hear about Berkeley Springs. People tell us oh, they were wherever they were and, and they mention where they're from and people say, oh, that's where that water tasting is. So it's it's huge in terms of tourism and, and getting the, the word about Berkeley Springs and what a great place it is, what great water we have, because that's why we did it because we've got great water so it just all uh, all followed from there and who would have ever known that when we started this in 1991 that we would become the world's longest and largest water tasting in the world anything else you want to add I think I've said it all all right thank you so much you're welcome